Hi, I am Mark Miller. I'm video producer for Loquake TV's seminar series. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about what it means to be a video producer and um, what it um, truly means to me. Uh, the first thing you need to be a video producer is to commit your desire, your time, and your commitment to the project. Uh, with your desire, you should have the wish to be a part of a series where people give witness to their, their faith through their profession. The time is an element that we have to work on. It usually takes me about two to four hours per video. Uh, the commitment is something that is also important. If you're going to do this, you should commit to the long term. If you feel you can do this, then I think you truly are a person that can be a video producer for Loquate TV. The first step is to make sure that you have a computer that uh, is capable of handling the requirements. Loquate uses a PC-based program called Pinnacle. Pinnacle needs a lot of memory and you need to have an adequate video card. You will require a computer with a 2 gigabyte of RAM plus 1.3 gigahertz or faster and a video card with 1 half gigabytes, gigabytes or better. Having a good computer makes all the difference. The next thing you do once you have set up your computer is to go to the Loquate shared document site. The Loquate shared document site is a site you can go to but it is required that you get a Google Chrome account. Google Chrome account costs nothing to get, but it will provide you with all the instructions necessary to make the editing as well as the production of the video. Once you have set up with that, then it is time to go to work. You make the cuts in the video that I described to you from the initiator. I find this to be a uh, most fascinating part of the um, uh, process. I take a video and I cut areas and I try to make it seamless as possible. Uh, sometimes almost down to the millisecond. Um, I kind of find it out as almost like a video game for me. Uh, and once again, something that I, I, I really like doing. My true satisfaction is making uh, uh, the video uh, with cuts and um, having the viewer know that there was nothing to be cut. So I, I really enjoy doing that. Um, once you've taken um, the cuts and, and you have the video ready to go, then you make a movie out of it. When you make a movie out of it, you send it off to um, a, a website. Um, it's a video website called Blip uh, TV. It's um, uh, there it is um, uh, marked as private and can only be viewed by the people that um, are going to want to make it public. Uh, once that has been recommended, that the pu public recommendations that it's been made public, then um, you um, uh, are ready to do the posting. Now the posting is a little bit more involved and you must follow the routine step by step. This is crucial. Um, it is something that's a little hard to learn, but after you've done it a couple of times, um, uh, it becomes much easier. Um, in a recent occasion, I was able to do five postings in one afternoon, and um, I feel very confident. I, I feel that this is a way for me to serve my God and to truly belong to my parish. It is my hope that we can expand on this um, uh, wonderful series uh, so that others might be able to tell their stories and many others might be able to listen to these stories. Thank you and God bless. So do you believe that an average person could follow the write-ups and be able to make these? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, easily. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not rocket science. It's just a matter of, of following the procedure. And um, the uh, uh, Loquate um, shared documents, which um, uh, per pertains to that, is very thorough. And, 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 and once again, uh, the crucial point is just following it um, to the letter. And can you tell us a little bit about actually filming? Oh, well, that's something that uh, uh, I, I have felt is a, 
an important part of, of, of working on the uh, video as a whole uh, by just working on the um, um, a recorded video that I receive, uh, it, it's already there. When I'm actually there doing the video itself, I see um, uh, I see a little bit more. I see a little bit more because it's live, because I'm seeing the the, the person's uh, uh, interactions, and and not only that, but this is space around the people around also that are are interacting, and and I, I get a better feel for it and. Um, uh, so I, I like doing that as well. I, is I it hard to learn to do the filming? No, it isn't. It's just it's a matter of making sure that the, the camera is um, uh, is good to go, that, that you have the right settings. As an example, we do the setting where we are set off to the right and we have the Holy Family Chapel on, on the left. Um, and also on um, uh, you know, making sure that the person's uh, scope within the camera is is good. Uh, and the last thing is that, uh, what have you found in terms of your parish involvement as a result of being a part of this series? Well, you know, I've I've uh, always felt that St. Paul of the Cross has been a wonderful and caring parish, and I've I've been a uh, it's been a joy to, for for me to be a part of it since since I joined. I truly enjoy uh, doing this because this is not only you know the uh, the parties at the church or something like that. This is being spread out to everybody and, and, and it, it is and it is, and it's giving um, uh, testimony to, to virtually the world with um, and this is something that I, I've never done before and uh, I truly enjoy.